Nietzsche, in his relentless pursuit of truth, vehemently attacks socialism and the social justice agenda, seeing them as products of a sickly and resentful mindset that is typical of the underprivileged. He regards the proponents of such views as nothing but manipulative and self-righteous individuals who are hell-bent on seeking revenge against those they blame for their misfortunes. In the words of Zarathustra, they are like tarantulas, preaching about justice but only wanting to punish. But that's not all. Nietzsche also takes a swipe at 18th century romantic idealism, which he considers to be far from ideal. He believes that idealism is a source of misfortune and a loss of value for humankind. Instead of facing reality, idealists deceive themselves and attempt to fit human nature into an artful, unrealistic utopia. They propagate social political reforms to achieve their goals, employing absurd optimism about the good man and natural drives. They promise a utopia on earth once the old order is dismantled. Against this background, Nietzsche posits his own realistic naturalism, which he claims is anti-idealistic and more concrete, fearless, industrious, moderate, and suspicious of sudden changes. He regards the desire to possess as an old healthy instinct and an expression of life and the morality of development. His naturalism is consistent with his Dionysian pessimism, which accepts the unpleasant aspects of life, such as waste, decay, and elimination, as necessary consequences of life and growth. Moreover, Nietzsche argues that leveling theories are harmful to political organizations and individuals alike, as they lower the value of humans, making them small, weak, and governable. In contrast, strong ages are characterized by individuals who dare to stand out and maintain division between people, statuses, and plurality of types. In the end, Nietzsche's philosophy represents a radical departure from the conventional wisdom of his time, a burst of intellectual and philosophical energy that challenges established norms and conventional thinking. Thank you for taking the time to support my video. If you found it helpful or interesting, please consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Your support helps me continue to create content that I hope you find valuable.